What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the brand new team of the group stage Gomez to review today, a card that I actually ended up packing untradeable. I was there thinking to myself, team of the group stage card? Argentina? You know who I was thinking, I was thinking I pack Lionel Messi but ended up getting Gomez obviously, which is obviously not too bad because he does go for 170k and his card actually looks really really good. Now if we are comparing him to his latest in form, he's got a plus 1 to pace, a plus 2 to dribbling, plus 3 to shooting, plus 2 to passing, plus 1 to physicals with a plus 1 to defending as well. So a very nice boost, this card going for 170k, his in form going for only 60k, but it's understandable because this card with that plus 3 shooting could make the big biggest difference now him obviously being five foot six you're not going to be one of those players that you know you swing the ball in and he headers the ball it's just not going to happen let's all be fair so what you want to do is play to his feet let him, let him do his little magic and obviously create a chance for you high medium work rates in the cam position that tells me he's going to be very aggressive. He's going to be making runs in behind and he'll probably be acting like a second striker in a 4-2-3-1 formation. He has got four-star skill moves with the four-star weak foot, which is insanely good as well. Now, I have gone for a marksman chem style and he is on 10 chem. You might be questioning the marksman chem style and you're thinking to yourself, why have you not gone for a dead eye? Why have you not gone for a hawk? Because the sprint speed is, you know, not the greatest, I would say. Well, listen, the marksman chem style for me, it's probably spot on. The reason I say it's spot on is because I feel like Gomez's main trait or main feature, let's say, is going to be his dribbling. And I need him to be top, top tier at dribbling. And the marksman chem style does obviously help out. 96 acceleration with the 88 sprint speed is absolutely insane. Shooting ability is 86 attacking positioning, 9 full finishing, 85 shot power with the 96 long shots. Has he got any shooting traits? He does. He has the outside foot shot trait. If this guy had the finesse shot trait, it would make, make literally life 10 times easier. He's got 76 volleys, 81 penalties as well. Now, if we are talking about passing, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Like 89 short passing. Come on now. We all know that's really good. 90 vision is really good. 86 crossing is really good. 82 freaky accuracy. 80 long passing could do a little with a little bit of work, but it should still be pretty decent. And he's got 85 curve as well. But his main feature for me personally is that dribbling. 95 agility. 96 balance. He's got 93 reactions, 98 ball control, 99 dribbling with the 87 composure as well. Now the disappointing thing about this card is that stamina it being 77 especially in a cam position it's not going to last throughout the whole 90 minutes so the real question is do you guys want to spend 170,000 coins on a card that is not going to last throughout the whole 90 minutes that's going to be a bit questionable now he has got 56 strength which is you know not great 59 aggression again not great but we move on with life now i have linked him up with obviously his teammate right here go sins and i've also got the likes of korea i got lucas rodriguez adama virgil and tiago silva also in this team i will be playing gomez in a 4-4-2 in that striker position but i do want to try him in his natural position in a 4-2-3-1 as well but let's get into the games go sins to gomez nice turn little ball roll oh look at the dribbling boys look at the dribbling oh come on stop it stop it in the middle. No, I had a wide open sweat, I felt like, but he actually got blocked. That's really good dribbling from him, to be fair, though. Goes in. Nice, good spacing. Touch, finish. Unbelievable. That is literally perfect. That is exactly what I wanted him to do. I needed him to make that run going down, and all he needed to do after that was obviously take a beautiful touch and go for that quick shot, which he exactly did. Lucas. Gomez. Oh, one turn. That's unbelievable. Keep going. Going to go for that finesse shot. Kunde did really well to actually catch up to me there. But that was an unbelievable turn from Gomez. He's dropped deep, to be fair to him. I should have passed to Adama. I should have passed to Adama. But we got away with it. Hill to hill round the keeper. Fake shot. A few step overs. Ball roll. Go to finesse shot. That's calm. That's composure. That's what that is. The guy didn't come towards me. So I saw that. And I took pretty much advantage of it. Me doing my little skill move. Trying to create an angle for myself. With a beautiful finesse shot to end it off with. Gomez, play that ball. I'm telling him to make a run right here. He's not marking it, to be fair. Keep going. Come on, use that pace. Keep going. Fake shot around the corner. There you go. Mm. And that's the situations that you're going to not want to get into. As soon as he has to do anything with his strength, you know for a fact anyone is going to be bodying this guy off the ball. Lucas, nice. Great awareness. Can I get a little touch there? Oh my God, look at the pace. Boys, look at the pace. A cross goal finish. Can I get it as well? Oh no. Oh, no. oh my god, it was a save. 
I thought he hit it just straight over. That was amazing, by the way. The touch that he did just gave him the acceleration to get past the, def uh, past the defender. Adama. That's a really good run, by the way. Nice turn. Hill to hill. Fake shot. Like a Kreta. No. Hill to hill again. Oh, my. No way. He's going to get a block in there. I even sent the keeper to the ground. It was literally a wide open goal. Can I go for a 1-2? I can. Look at that pace, by the way. Look at that pace. Even with the marksman chem stole, it's still really, really fast. He's read me. He's read me like an absolute book. And I should have kind of expected that because this is Division 1 we're talking about. Most of the people in here are going to move the keeper. Go Sins to Gomez. Nice dummy. Going to go for an earlier cross goal finish and he misses it. That's interesting because those shots do go in very, very often. And I'm thinking to myself... If I had a different chem style on this card, would that shot go in? Most likely. So that is something that you are going to see that obviously, you know, you're not going to get with the marksman chem style. You're not going to get that amazing finishing ability. So what do you guys want? Do you want him to feel crazy, crazy good on the ball? Or do you want him to have an amazing shot? That's a really, really good pass. I've lo I'm loving his passing ability. I've noticed his passing ability is so consistent. It's not one of those ones where, yeah, time to time he goes too far. Time to time he goes into a player. No, it's actually straight onto the player every single time. Lucas. He's made a really good run in behind. Can I get a fake shot? He can. Ball roll in front of him. Pass across. Go for the easy finish. That is unbelievable. That right there is crazy. The fact that he could actually shield off Virgil van Dijk in a very tight situation is just, I don't know. I really have no words. I don't know how he managed to actually get in front of Virgil because we all know that's not an easy thing. But the fact that he actually ended up just passing it across to a wide open player for the easy finish is just even better, to be fair. Turn into the outside. Keep going. Ball roll. Oh my god. Oh, uh, Virgil. V Listen, Virgil. We're 10 minutes in, big man. And you're getting spun like there is no tomorrow. I have no idea what's happening to this guy's Virgil van Dijk right now. But he needs to get off the pitch. He needs to get subbed off. That's all I know. Adama. Nice. Really good run. Keep going. Keep going. Use that pace. Use that. I've noticed he gets a lot of rebounds. That is something I am, like, noticing time after time. Literally every single time the guy... How is he shielding this good, by the way? I, I I would never understand that. A five foot six player with barely any strength, and he's shielding off players like Virgil, and he's shielding off players like that guy right there. Like what? How is this even happening? Lucas on the ball. I want to see Gomez's movement. Adama's wide open, to be fair, so I'm just going to give it to Adama. Go for that easy finish, and we are going to get a goal. Gomez right there, I felt like his movement wasn't insane, but at the same time, he was making that other centre-back go away from Adama Traore, which is obviously quite smart, because that means that play can't interfere with the actual play. Gomez, play that ball. Once again, a really, really good ball. I'm just going to go for the RBX. And it should be a goal if Lucas could actually end up getting onto the end of it. But you can see his passing ability. It is insane. 180 angles. The pass is still perfect. First time fake shot. Really good fake shot. And great acceleration. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. I might ball roll in. Oh, one dribble. Yeah, that's the thing. Virgil van Dijk. we could finish that i put too much power into it that's why he missed but my god i have no idea what he is doing to virgil right now but this virgil van dyke yeah it's quite questionable let's just say that it's quite questionable at this kind uh, at this kind of moment i oh, one turn bro gonna go for one two use that pace come on get on to the end of it get on to the end of it oh can i get on to nah the thing is with him right is the fact that if someone is in front of him while he is running he is not going to be able to get in front of the actual player because he has not got a high enough aggression down the line turn now ball roll in go for a finesse shot mm. That's quite questionable because I would have felt like he would have, you know, kind of stood on his feet. He wasn't really under pressure either. He's obviously a finesse shot trait at that current, you know, moment would have obviously helped a little bit. But I still felt like he did very poorly. So it is time to review him. Three games played, three goals scored of the one assist as well. Quite disappointed in myself. The fact that I didn't score more goals with this guy. But it is what it is. I did feel like his shooting ability was not 
as good as the card actually says 94 finishing with the 85 shot power i would have thought he finished you know most shots i would say but there was some opportunities that i felt like was like wide open and he missed the whole target now i'll take blame for the shots i overpowered without that that's my fault right but with the shots that literally went off target and i put perfect power into it i feel like that's all him i cannot go against that but really gomez he's a really good player without that right he's got amazing dribbling amazing pace amazing passing physicals on the other hand is a whole different story now when he comes down to pace i am going to give him a 9 out of 10 we saw multiple times that acceleration and even the sprint speed come into play we saw him outpace virgil van dyke we saw him outpace kunde we saw him outpace so many good center backs which is you know the reason I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. I don't feel like he's on the level of, obviously, you know, the rule break opponents or even that uh, Dutch, uh, I think it was right wing card that actually came out a few weeks, a few weeks ago, a few days ago in objectives. I don't feel like, you know, he's as fast as those kind of players, but he's still a very fast player. Shooting ability, as I said, I will take responsibility when I'm overpowering the shot. But if it's a wide open opportunity and I literally put perfect power into it with a perfect finish or a power, perfect power shot, I can't really go, you know, you can't really save him, can you? Let's all be fair, it has to be his fault. So for shooting, I'm going to give him, I would say like an 8.5 out of 10. It's still good, without a doubt, it's still good, but it's just not insane. Passing ability, really impressed. Really impressed with this guy's passing ability. Now, obviously, I expected it to be good, but I did not expect it to be this good. Like, overtop three balls work perfectly. Short passes, RBAs, Y balls, RB Y balls. Everything was literally perfect. So for passing, I am going to give him... I would say a 9.4 out of 10. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely up there. Let me just tell you that right now. Dribbling ability. Honestly, because he hasn't got 5-star skill moves and I include 5-star skill moves into dribbling, I cannot give him a 10 out of 10. But I'm going to give him a 9.8 because he is probably the best dribbler. If you're just talking about R1 dribbling and left stick dribbling, I have played with in this game. We all saw what he did to Virgil van Dijk multiple, multiple, multiple times. And you just have to give him a high rating because it was his best feature, without a doubt. But physicals, this is, this is where he goes, you know, a bit downhill. Now, the strength, I can say, was not 56. It was higher than 56. We saw this guy, I think it was shield off Virgil van Dijk fairly easy. And that was, like, really impressive for me because I would have never thought a 5'6 player with 56 strength would ever, ever do that. But he did it, and that is what impressed me. But the 77, 77 stamina did not last for the whole 90 minutes. Him having 59 aggression... It was not great. So for physicals, I am going to give him, I would say, like a 5 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, I am going to give this card an 8.4 slash an 8.5. It's really, really good without a doubt. And I'm really lucky that I actually ended up packing this guy untradeable. So I can rather use him as a superstar. I can even use him as a starting 11 player if I really want to. What position would I say is best for him? I would honestly say the striker position. The reason I say striker is because I noticed his movement was not top tier in the striker position like an Mbappe, but it's still really good. He knows when to make the runs and he knows when to come short. Rather than in the cam position, he was always making those runs in behind. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.